questions, please. Councillor Tucci. Uh, thank you, Worship, through you to Stephen. Thank you for your, I do have to thank you for all the time you and your staff have put into this issue, uh, and I mean it sincerely. Um, some of the uh, some of the comments I've read in the report when when we look at and uh, we look at what is guiding us or the, our policy, we're, we're, uh, the guidelines we're guided by the Municipal Act, and you, you go to great lengths in the in the report to say that the Municipal Act actually allows the municipality to charge arrears and utilities to properties on the on the tax roll. Correct. The the only. In the legislation that exists today, yeah. the, the the only municipal services for utilities, the only services for utilities that can be added to the tax roll are water and wastewater. Okay, but 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 you've made the argument that the municipal act, which we're guided yes. by, allows you to do it. Yes. And but and so I need you to comment. When, when my interpretation, when I read the municipal act section that that you're relying on, has never, in, in my view, contemplated the policy that we implemented last year. Uh, the Municipal Act contemplates utilities on homeowners or property owners, arrears being charged to the tax roll, but nowhere in the Municipal Act does it specifically say, and correct me if I'm wrong, or Mr. Matheson can correct me if I'm wrong, but the Municipal Act doesn't say in the event that the municipality establishes a policy where the uh, owner is going to be responsible for someone else's arrears, Municipal Act allows you to add it to the tax roll. The reason I'm asking is I, I'm, quite, I'm quite concerned uh, of a, a legal challenge where a landlord decides to challenge a municipality's policy and our reliance on the Municipal Act. But nowhere in that document, and, I, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, does it actually explicitly say that the utility arrears can be added to a property tax or property tax roll in the – sorry – Okay, can, sorry, Steve. To questions Do you, you want me to answer that, Steve, or would you like to answer that as a legal? I mean, it's one, the councillor is giving a legal opinion, and two, I can't give a legal opinion in open session, so I'm not going to do that. But if council like moving and closed, I can provide that information. Okay, well, it, it, okay, well, that, that that's, that's typical policy of how we operate, okay, right? Right, okay. but it goes to the heart of what we're going to, what we've been doing here for a year plus. And I, I think in the, 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 ba the, the basic foundation of our premise may be flawed, and I'd be interested, if we have to go into closed session, to get that opinion, and whether internal legal can give it or whether we need an external legal opinion on the Municipal Act, I'm prepared to ask for that because I think when my review of it, it doesn't expli explicitly, it didn't contemplate a situation where this municipal or any municipality deems a tenant arrears to be uh, a property owner's arrears, thereby we're adding it to the property tax roll. That's, that's one issue. Uh, Steve, so when, when we look at, you said there's 1,718 accounts, tenanted accounts, 57% that are presently in arrears, about 503,000. Of those 1,718, uh, how many are, uh, are, are, are fall into the, the, the predate, you know, how we, we, uh, we grandfathered accounts prior to 2011. So how many of the 1718 fall a, into that? There's category? approximately 185 that have deposits that are in the collection process okay, so of those only, 700. Okay, so only in 180, and, and it's important when I say only, because you're talking 11% of the total tenanted properties. Uh, and I wanted council to understand that when, when, we, when we debate this, or maybe debate this, uh, uh, when other delegations have come forward, because I think that that's another issue that we need to address. Okay, so that, thank you. Thank you. Councilor Council. Just a, a quick question, Mayor Craig, through you. Uh, you mentioned that there was $522,900 um, sitting somewhere, plus there's another um, 620 20, uh, people that have paid or tenants that have paid $230. That works out to about 142.6. And I'm just wondering, where does this money sit at this point? The deposits that are collected sit, sit in a balance sheet account. Okay. And on those deposits, the city pays interest. Pays interest. On those at, at the rate of interest. Um, I believe it's prime. I'd have to look it up. But there is a rate of interest that yeah. we're paying okay. that uh, the customer receives on those deposits on file. Okay. So we hold that in advance in case we have to. Okay. That makes sense. What about the uh, the other 522.9? Maybe I should try to explain where that came from. <laughs> 
Let me look at it and I'll get back. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Councillor Mata. Thank you, Your Worship. I have um, a couple questions which residents in the audience may be interested in knowing the answer to. Um, if the city took full responsibility instead of the landlords, how much would water rates have to be increased approximately? And do we have an alternative? Like, for example, if we've somehow found savings in the budget, can we transfer some of that money over to cover any shortfalls? Thanks. The, the, the money that's levied within the water fund stays within the water fund. The money that's levied within the, the operating budget, which is through the tax levy, can you only be used within the tax area. So any savings, if we recognize them, are, are found after the budgets are adopted and are reported to Council through the forecast process on an annual basis. When we develop the budget, we've developed the budget based on the estimated cost of our expenditures to be incurred based on the current year's operations. So right now, there is no forecasted savings within the 2012 budget at the present time. On that. Any further questions, members of Council? Mr. Tucci. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. Uh, just a follow-up to Councillor Meadows' question. Um, the, so what is the, uh, if in fact we took 100, the 185 properties, you said that are tenanted properties that are presently in arrears, what's the amount of, what's the amount of the arrears? Do we know? I don't have that with me, no. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's fine. All right. Any other questions of Mr. Fairweather? All right. Again, you'll be on deck for us, okay? I have two delegations. I'm Ms. Andrade, and I've got uh, uh, Flavio Panato uh, as the two delegations. Ms. Andrade, please. 